We know that firefighters routinely run toward danger, but not this. When they uh, made entry into the home, they were taken hostage by him. It began around 3.40 Wednesday afternoon. Firefighters near Atlanta were called to what they thought was a man having a heart attack. This is radio traffic from one of the five firefighters taken hostage. Uh, we are in a situation where we have a, uh, a, an armed person. The gunman began making demands. And he is requesting uh, certain um, certain utilities to be, be turned back on at his house. And he is armed, and we, we are in the room with him. Apparently, he's going through some financial issues, and the power was uh, turned off along with the cable and cell phone. About 30 minutes into the ordeal, one of the five hostages was released. Then around 7.30 p.m., police moved in. A loud bang, then volleys of gunfire. Stop it, stop it. It got to a point where we believed that their lives were in immediate danger, and uh, our SWAT team made the decision to go in there and neutralize the situation. Neighbors who knew the man didn't expect anything like this. He was really nice, maybe a little bit too nice, I don't know. I mean, he seemed like a normal guy. The gunman was killed, one police officer was injured, and the firefighters suffered only minor injuries. We're just relieved that uh, for us, our firefighters are going to go home safe to their families.